Hello guys, today I'm going to show you 10 advanced trap tricks you can do. Uh, I haven't been promoting my code a lot, so please it helps Tom, help supports me, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first, uh, you want to know that the, the traps, like the builds, are uh, right-sided, okay? You, you can use right pick to place traps, so here's an example, you can place it behind a cone, edit the cone. If you stand here on a ramp, you can place it above, okay, to your right. Uh, your enemy is gonna get trapped uh, if he wants to avoid the cone. You can also place it on the wall. If you're fast enough. So with the wall facing, you can actually place a trap inside the box or on the floor. I already showed you this, uh, you can place traps under the cone. Okay. It's not very useful with uh, wood because they can see through. But if you use another material, let's say metal, uh, you don't want to edit the cone again place it under you can just aim at the at the floor through your cone okay place it uh, this will uh, let your metal have more time to uh, gain health and uh, yeah you can do that with uh, jump pads too and uh, you see uh, if you edit too much uh, or even once with metal uh, it's so easy to break compared to this metal For the double phasing, okay, you can uh, use a cone instead of a ramp, it's the same trick. I already showed you this trick uh, in another video, uh, double phasing. For uh, the back trap, uh, you have to aim right at this part of uh, the cone, okay? And uh, you can press the trap and it will push you inside your box, okay? And if the enemy uh, drops down, if you edit like that, if you land on the ramp, you can uh, catch him off guard, okay? So again, you have to aim perfectly right there to place the trap behind you. So this is an easy variation of the teleport, if you try to go like that you won't face, you have to angle yourself and keep moving, okay? And you will face uh, every, every single time. So if you want to use a trap with this, you can edit the cone, cone it. And then reset, place the trap. Then you box up your opponent and edit it for the kill. This is the right pick. I already showed you. You can use the phasing trick now, uh, the teleporting trick to trap uh, under your cone, okay? And then box your opponent. Now this is uh, the same as wall phasing, but instead uh, of a wall, okay? Instead of using a wall, you're going to use now your trap. Since your trap is, is a wall, it's, it's gonna work, okay? Yes, he cannot break it, and uh, if you use metal, the the wall is gonna gain HP. If he wants to go out, he's not going to see you placing that trap on the floor. Okay, even if he realizes it, you can seal back in uh, the box, and uh, he will have a hard time uh, breaking the wall. 
Now you can place uh, many traps uh, with all of these. You can use double phasing. First the wall phasing. Place one inside the box. One under your cone. Okay. And uh, if you edit the cone after, you can actually place another one uh, on top. Like this. And uh, if you move forward, you can go uh, to the other side. Now you just have uh, to reset the cone. Uh, not forget you cannot edit this wall anymore. Okay. And uh, yeah, if he gets uh, in the same box, you can use another phasing trick with the cone to get him. So this is the last trick. Uh, it's also with a double phasing. I already showed in my uh, in a previous video uh, with the floor and the cone. So make sure you you are phasing through the floor first. Place the trap. Then uh, try to edit and reset the cone at the right position, and you will phase through both your cone and floor which is your trap now. And after that you can reset, so the enemy is gonna fall inside your box. Uh, in an actual situation you want to edit the three walls. Place the trap. Okay, this edit is a, a bit complicated, so make sure you do it right. So the box is not going to fall now when you edit, you just have to reset the cone and uh, if you are hugging the wall at this uh, position, the structure will break and it's gonna fall into your box. So that's why you want to use a U-RAM because you just have to reset, but here you can still edit your ramp and uh, you are going to fall both inside the box. So yeah, that's it for today guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video, uh, it's ha really hard to find this trick, so yeah, think about using my code guys. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.